right. All so. right. We have very interesting conversation right now about our city's budget. Uh, today is one of the last uh, council reviews of Mayor Faulkner's proposed 3.6 billion dollar budget here in San Diego. The city you know is facing an 81 million dollar budget so, uh, shortfall. So far city council has discussed staffing shortages at the police department and uh, a one third reduction in spending on the arts program. So joining us right now city council member Chris Ward is here. Good morning Chris. Good morning Lisa. All right so um, first of all let's talk about all of the uproar that has kind of started to come around because of the uh, the reduction in in arts funding. Sure. How, how do you rectify that? How do well, you sure. That? First of all, I fundamentally believe that the arts and culture community contributes so much to San Diego, not just for neighbors and school children, but also visitors. So it's tourism serving. Mm -hmm. um, to have an over 30% cut just for the arts is very disproportional compared to some of the other decisions that we're making for other city funding. Okay. The mayor has said that over the years we have increased spending for the arts. So this is kind of not, not necessarily cutting back a third, but cutting back to normal levels. Oh, no, no, no. It is absolutely cutting back from, I think, what people have been enjoying over the last couple of years for our level of arts funding. We actually have not fully funded some of our blueprint commitments that we set five years ago to be able to really dedicate uh, a full penny of our tourism tax for the arts. So we had a ways to catch up. This only set us back further. Let's talk about now as well, you know, the need to continue to fund the police department absolutely. and to fund uh, the, the search for the new police chief, which we are going to be coming up against in 2018. Um, how do you justify that and keeping the funding for the arts? These are all the kinds of like decisions that we're trying to weigh right now. And we're also looking at revenue opportunities and from as we've been going through our city council hearings in the last couple of days, going department by department, line by line, looking for every other possibility for either delaying an expenditure or finding new revenue and trying to make sure that we are prioritizing police recruitment and retention, mm -hmm. um, but also some of the neighborhood serving services like arts. Right. Um, another big issue that the mayor has continued to fund it was a promise of his and and a good one and for good reason is the infrastructure funding absolutely the funding to continue to fix our roads which you know the city has been doing yes. I mean not as quickly as anybody would like yes. really um, but you, you can't cut that either. So I, my point is, there are going to be hard things. Yes. What are you willing to cut? Well, so for the infrastructure funding, that's actually the good news. Our capital improvements program, it's not general fund dollars. We have a lot of growth happening there. And as well, um, the state, of course, just passed SB1, the additional gas tax increment that we'll be able to see. That's going to be $300 million or more over the next 10 years. So we have a lot of money coming in for road repair, and that's good. Do we have other funds that have been lockboxed and set aside for that that we could redirect for police? and recruitment and fire uh, retention issues. I think that that's there. So these are all the difficult, you know, analyses mm -hmm. and conversations that we're having right now. They seem like really high level conversations, but I think when push comes to shove, people are going to want to know, are my rec center hours going to yes. be closed? Are my city parks going to be closed? There is no cuts to uh, rec center hours, to library service hours. So we're trying to make sure that we're maintaining neighborhood services, but the devil's always in the details. Yeah. And that's why people like me are trying to have a very trained eye on what we're doing. I'd also, in the short time uh, yeah. that I have left, actually put a plug for members of the public to come down this coming Monday at 6 o'clock. Yes. We have a public meeting on all the budget as a whole. So I invite people to come down and, and, and uh, state their points of view. Absolutely. May 15th. Monday, May 15th, 6 o'clock, right outside of, uh, at City Hall. You guys are going to be doing this big uh, public meeting. We would love for people to uh, come and attend and let them know what they think should be cut and what should stay. Chris Ward, great to see you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much.